Hello, in this video I'd like to show you how you conduct a search using the Search tab and applying filters. So we'll start out, we're in the WorldOx client, I'm going to click on the Search tab. Then the first thing you'll want to set is what you're searching for as far as the contents. Um, do you want to search on the document ID, which is the document number, or the description, or the full text of the documents? Right now it's searching based on the document ID or the description. You can change this by clicking on the binocular icon and you'll have your different choices here. So if I just want to search just full text, so just the text within the documents, I can change this to file contents. I can leave it at the current doc ID or description or I can change it to doc ID or description or contents. Uh, I'll just leave it at doc ID or description for right now for this example. Now if I type in a number it's going to search for the WorldOx document number. If I type in a word or a phrase, it'll search against the description. Now, if you want to search for a number within the description, you'd want to put that number within double quotes. So if I just type in the document number, for example, and I just need to type in the last digits. You don't have to type in any of the leading zeros. Um, conduct the search, it'll find the document and bring it back. But let's say I'm looking for this because it's part of an address or a number that's within the description, then I'd want to include that within double quotes, and then when it does the search, it knows you're not looking for a WorldOx document number, it knows that you're looking for a number within the description, or if you had the scope set to search for full text, it knows you're looking for text within the document. Now you can add filters to your search, so right now it's going to search basically your entire WorldOx system based on your quick pro, um, quick access find template. But what you can do is you can narrow it down to just certain cabinets. So let's say you just want the search to search a specific cabinet. You can sit add cabinets. I just want to search my client files cabinet. So I'll select that and now it's going to filter that search down and just search against that cabinet. I can also add profile filters. So if let's say I just want to search a particular client or a particular matter. I can go in here. If I know the client matter codes I can just type them in. My drop downs are going to give me a historical listing of codes that I've used. Um, if I need to get to the whole table, I can click on the link for it or you press the F2 key and I have access. Once you've selected a client, it's just going to show you just the matters for that client. You can add the parameters. You can also go into your favorite matters tab here and select it from your favorite matters to populate it that way. Once you have the criteria that you want to search against filled out, just click the OK button. Notice it adds it. So now when whatever I type in my search line here, when I go to conduct a search, it's going to narrow the scope of that down to just the client files cabinet for this particular client, this particular matter. Now if you're using categories at your firm or place of business and you want to add some category filters, you could do that as well by just clicking add category filters and also add date filter. So let's say I just want recent documents. So I could add the date filter and let's say date modified from let's go with 60 days ago through today and now the search will be based on this criteria as well here. Now if I just type in a word or phrase click on search, it'll run the search for me and bring back the search results in this list. Let's say if you've got a large result set back and you want to narrow that down even further, you could use your filters down at the bottom. So if I wanted to just see for doc types notes and wanted to filter the list or just the letters, I could filter the list that way. But if you wanted to run, rerun the search and add some more criteria to it, what you could do is now that you've conducted that initial search, click on the search button and then click on this first option here, modify your last active search. That'll then bring up a WorldOx find template that has all the information in that you initially entered, such as the word you searched for, the date range, the client, the matter, and you can add additional criteria in here and then rerun the search to narrow the scope down if you wanted to do that. Now when you're conducting these searches, um, we do support all the, we do support Boolean operators and proximity and some wild cards and I cover that in a separate video. So when you're, let me go back to a new search tab. When you're 
typing your information in here, you can use the Boolean operators, the wildcards, the proximity syntax in there. I just cover that in a separate video. So that's how you would conduct a quick search using the search tab and applying filters to that search.